Have you read your Bible today? Have you looked at social media or watched television today? If you say you're a believer, if you say your faith is important to you, and someone looked at your activities for the day, would they be able to report out that what you said was true? There is no better way to transform your life and grow your faith than reading the Bible. I have three things that you can do as a habit to increase your chances of reading the Bible every day. Integrating this into your daily routine can be a powerful catalyst for personal growth and a deeper connection to your faith. When I gave my heart to Jesus, it was the start of a big transformation in my life, but we all know that as life goes on, we get busy day-to-day -day stuff and it becomes so easy to get caught up into the current. I say my faith is the most important thing to me, but how do I make sure it really is? There were times when I would go months not reading the Bible, other than maybe what was projected on the screen on a Sunday morning, but I want to share with you some practical ways that I've made sure that I am reading the Bible every day. And I want to show you how to make it a habit. So the first thing, build it into your routine. A successful habit involves creating a successful plan. Side note, if you have not read Atomic Habits by James Clear, oh my goodness, you have got to get this book. I have a link in the notes. You have to pick a system that works for you, but whatever it is, just make sure that it becomes so easy that it is a no-brainer and it creates a situation where you would really have to go out of your way not to read the Bible. For me, I looked at my morning routine. I get up, I make breakfast, I literally sit at the same spot in the table and I made it a rule, no phones or tablets that are allowed on the table. I only have my Bible, I have a pen, I have a piece of paper and my readers. I make it a rule that I read at least one chapter. I take a moment, write down one principle that I learned and then I get up and I finish my morning routine. I keep everything on the table for the next morning so I'm ready to go again, hit reset. Maybe you have limited space. That's okay. Just figure out which system works for you. The important thing is that you make it really hard not to do it. The next thing, and this is really more of a backup plan, if for whatever reason I can't read in the morning, I make sure I'm listening to the Bible on my commute. If I have to miss, this is my backup plan. Thank goodness we have the Bible app that has audio versions on it. How convenient can it get? If I can't listen in my car, then I make it a rule that I must read before I go to bed and at least one chapter. If I'm traveling, it becomes a little bit of a challenge. But again, thank goodness we have the Bible app because I can take it anywhere. I'm not the Bible police by any means. I'm just sharing what worked for me. And I have the measurement to prove it. I have a habit tracker. Okay, so I'm a little geeky in that way. But I update it every day. One of the things on my list is to read my Bible. So I went from reading one or two days in a month to now I'm probably averaging 25 to 28 days a month. I said it was important to me, so I wanted to make sure I was doing it. And that's why I'm measuring it. But I invite you, create the system that works best for your life, best for your routine. What's the best time of day for you to read? What steps can you take to make sure that you have read? What are your backup plans in case you miss something? Maybe you need to get up 10 minutes earlier or go to bed 10 minutes later. It's important that you define it. Make Bible reading a priority for you. Find ways to integrate it into your natural behavior. The next thing, small groups. If you're not in a small group in your church, you have missed a big opportunity to read your Bible. I have a women's group that meets every two weeks. We usually pick a study to go through together and we hop on Zoom, we call, we chat, but we also talk about what we've read. This automatically motivates me to read my Bible. First, I don't want to let the group down. Second, I don't want to look unprepared. And third, I really don't want to miss the opportunity to participate in the conversation. This type of peer pressure works for me. Maybe you don't have a small group and maybe you're just part of a, a formal Sunday school class where the teacher may read the Bible. There may be lessons and discussions that come out of the class, 
But just by putting yourself in that type of setting, it automatically encourages you to read your Bible. So get involved in a group. The third thing, I'm the type of person, I can't have messages in my inbox. I can't have bubbles on my phone. And maybe you're the same, or maybe you're like my husband who just lets it run out of control with bubbles all over the place. Either way, the lesson I want to share with you is to know yourself. Tap into your pattern behavior to build a habit. In this case, I signed up for an automated email every day. I get one Bible verse in my email inbox, and I make it a personal rule that I can't delete it until I've actually read it. It's my system to make sure that I'm reading the Bible. Maybe you have a behavior that you can tap into like this. You can sign up for those daily emails or even a text message. It's found on the Bible app, and it's free. So there you have it. Those are my top three ways that I've integrated reading the Bible into my life, my routine, my small group, my email inbox. It's not my pastor's responsibility to get me to read my Bible. And really, Sunday mornings, it's just not enough. So we have to be intentional. Romans 12, 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Renewing our minds is a daily habit. I've chosen to make reading the Bible a priority and have found a system that works pretty good. I encourage you to find your own system and watch how your life will change. You can do this. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment. We need your help to share the good news. And thanks for your time. Have a blessed day.